Hey, welcome back to a fairly cold Oddie's Angling TV. Uh, it's middle of March, or coming towards the end of the March, and they're forecasting heavy snow this afternoon. So what better thing to do is get down to the local lake and do a review for you guys, because I ain't going to be fishing, let me tell you. So, what have we got? This is the Avid Transit X Barrow. Uh, now, before I get into this review, I want to make it very clear on one thing. I'm not a sponsored angler. I don't work for Avid. I have no connections in the industry. I'm an angler like most people watching the videos here, and whatever I use, I have to buy with my hard-earned cash. So like everybody else, I do a little bit of research, I check things out, and um, I try and invest in what is the best product on the market. Now, carp barrows are a luxury item. Most people don't own one, most people don't need one. But for guys like myself who actually do fish waters where using a barrow is a must, uh, there's a plethora of barrows on the market. And, um, you know, in fairness, there's a domination of one kind of type, and that's the carp porter. Carp porter have been dominating the carp barrel market, and in fairness, they've dominated it so heavily, you kind of say to yourself, well, why would you bother with anything else? Well, I've used the low loader from carp porter. I've used the fat boy as well. And I have to say, great barrows. Now, you either get on with a barrel or you don't. Some suit and fit people, and some don't. Uh, the low loader, I have to say, didn't really suit me that much. Um, I found it quite awkward in many ways, so, certainly pushing it, it hurt my back a lot. So uh, eventually I kind of was in the market for a new barrow. I talked to um, the lads in Maine Irish Angling. They tell me about the Avid Transit X. Now I have to say, I have really begun to fall in love with the Avid range of gear. Now Avid are only kind of new to the market and you'd easily know that they're proper anglers making proper equipment for angling because everything that they've brought out to this day I think has been so well thought out. They're not exactly reinventing the wheel but what they are doing is taking you know sort of well used and known concepts and tweaking them and bringing them to a, a whole new level and they're doing it exceptionally well. So let's get into this. What is this? Well this as I said is the Transit X Barrow. They also have a Transit Barrow which is one down from this. Pretty much the exact same chassis. What it doesn't have is the uh, extra bags that fit on this. Now the bags are what make this absolutely the dog's danglies to use. Now I've used this a little bit. So you'll see by the mud on this that it has been used. So I can honestly give you a fair review of it at this stage. They designed it with very low legs here at the front. And the idea being that, that you'd get good clearance and you'd also put a, the maximum weight on the wheel to get the maximum amount of push. So, um, also the handles are adjustable, so whatever height you are, they'll fit you and they'll work perfectly. The whole idea of when you're pushing a barrel is not to be bending your elbows up and hunching your shoulders, it's to actually have your arms and let the weight actually hit onto them and stand up straight and walk straight and push straight. And if you can do that, you'll get sort of less back strain. And that's why I would have made the whole handlebar system totally um, adjustable to suit heights and certain configurations of your exoskeleton. But um, as I said, uh, very, very comfortable. Now it comes with two sidebars. The sidebars are optional. They don't adjust out. What they do is they can come clean off. So if you want to actually use your bed chair and the legs coming up to um, hold in your stuff, you can do. Or if you're using extra wide loads and you don't need the bars, you don't have to have them. The bars themselves are completely uh, extendable. They come right up if you've got high loads, which you know make things a lot easier to use. One of the really nice features, they have an extra wide tire here at the front. Now you can, if you want, order this barrow with a thin tire. Uh, although I don't know why you'd want to because this all-terrain tire is really, it does sort of spread the weight nicely and push very easily through the muck. It comes with this bag here at the front which you can then Velcro on to the, the actual bars to keep it nice and neat. I've been using this to store all my pegs and stuff for when I get to the swim, I want to put up my bivvy. I know all my pegs, my ground sheet, everything's in here, kept away, and I just leave it here. So that when I finish the session, the pegs in the ground sheet go back into this, and that's where I know everything's going to be. I just fold it down, and off I go. Really, really handy. Now, as I said, the bars are completely extendable. Um, you don't have to have them on, as I said. But if you do, uh, they just make thing a lot, things a lot more stable. 
One of the other features, as I said already, when you're setting up, there's a little locking nut here to lock the legs in position so they don't buckle ever when you're under a load uh, and if you accidentally kicked off them, they don't start folding back on themselves, which used to happen with the low load on me. So when you went to go and put it down, it'd actually fall over. Complete disaster. Because when there's a fair bit of weight on it, it can really topple. And that's when stuff you know, gets broken or damaged. So you don't have that issue with this particular model. The metal is very, very strong. Everything, the welding is, is very, very good, very strong welding. If you know anything about welding, you'll know that it's all sort of well put together. Uh, it's powder coated to keep it nice to the touch and also rust free. Um, everything, as I said, is well thought out on this barrow. And as I said at the very beginning, this pushing this is an absolute dream. I've loaded this up to the full. Everything for a three or four day session has nearly gone on one trip. Uh, and you know, it just makes it a pleasure to bring stuff to the swim and, and back. These things make you a, a more mobile angler. You know, you're more inclined to move around the lake if you've got one of these in tow. So you're not having to worry about lifting everything in small little dribs and drabs to the next spot. You can just load it all up, chuck it all on and head off. A couple of the other nice features that they do have. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around here. And this is what really sold it to me. I thought this was really cool. As I said, the bar here can be taken off. And it's just a matter of removing it like so. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. What they have here is a little cargo area inside so you can put all your bits and pieces. And what I, I tend to do, I put my heaviest bits in the front pouches over the wheel. So when it tilts up, the weight is on the wheel itself and it helps push it. This is actually a hard table. This is actually sort of padded and there's a board in here to stop anything going through. So you don't, you know, you could even put your camera gear, your laptop underneath that and it's gonna be protected. It's not gonna get damaged. I would also do a wonderful bag called the Transit 2 and it fits. 100% perfectly into that hole there. I actually have it ordered because as I said, uh, I'm really getting into the Avid gear lately and I have to say, after seeing the Barrow, I know that the bags and everything else are gonna be spot on as well. But really dinky little features, really, really handy for uh, putting all your little bits and items. I mean, I would put my battery packs in there and my water bottles, that's the weight, all kept forward. And then, as I said, my main bag goes here. On top then I'd load up my bed chair on top of here. Uh, I put my uh, bivy system here at the back on top of the handlebar section. And then I just keep loading up until I'm ready to go. If I'm fishing a short day session uh, or I'm fishing a, a quick overnighter, everything I need for that one trip will fit on this barrow in one go. If I'm fishing for more than three or four days, you probably need maybe two trips to the car. But with this thing, you don't really care about that because it just doesn't seem to really put you out too much. And as I said, the biggest thing is because you're keeping everything straight on your back and you're keeping everything straight on your arms, when it's fully loaded, it's not costing you a thought, you're not getting back strain and you're not really crippled by the time you get to the spot that you want to fish. So as I said, if you're in the market for a new barrow, yes, the market is full. It's a busy market out there and there's some great carp portals. The carp portals are brilliant barrows. And I thought to myself, how could I even even begin to think about going into making a barrow when the market is so heavily dominated by one particular barrow? After buying this with my money, after using it, I can tell you now it's as good as any carp port out there. And for the features that are on it, it's cheaper than most of the carp portals that would have the same real estate. So that's how she packs away. Size of a bed chair. As slim as a bed chair, and obviously then the wheel bag that you can put your handles in as well. Absolutely brilliant little system. Folds away perfect. Doesn't take up too much real estate in the car. Uh, what more can I tell you? Avid, you've got a fan. For this and any other Avid product, we suggest you take a look at mainirishangling.com or check out your local Avid stockist.